What's going on guys? I'm Icy Rhythms. Welcome back. And in this video, I just want to tackle this Golden Joystick Awards 2018 and focus on their game of the year for 2018. I am trying to understand how in a year like 2018, which has been really great for gaming in my personal opinion, a, a year like 2018 you can give game of the year to a battle royale game like Fortnite. First of all, it didn't even come out this year. I'm somewhat fine with that because I've given game of the year to a game that's like, you know, six months to a year, sometimes even two years old. So I don't have, that's not one of my biggest problems, but when you're supposed to be doing this professionally and people are out, out there trying to take you seriously and hanging and dancing on, oh man, I wonder what Golden Joystick's going to give game of the year this year. When people are waiting for stuff like that with all of the choices that you had in 2018, then it is kind of a problem, right? I don't have hundreds of thousands or even millions of people hanging and dancing on my words or what my game of the year pick or what my runners up and things like that are going to be. I don't have that issue here on my small YouTube channel. You guys do. I think you have a more of a responsibility to take everything into consideration. And when you have stuff like Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, right? I think most people would probably agree that God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2 were probably the biggest two favorites to, to win most of the Game of the Year awards from all of the major publications. And even something like, I haven't played it and I don't really care too much about it, Battlefield 5, the blood, sweat, and tears and the effort and the time that it took to make some of these games, three, four, five, maybe even six years or something, is Fortnite can't even compare. Can we even compare those games? First of all, we can't. And we shouldn't, but they took an idea. I love the comeback story. I love the success story of Epic. I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy that they're making tons of money again. And that's great, right? From a developer that I wasn't sure if they would ever make games again until Fortnite, which originally for the noobs out there was a tower defense game, if you didn't know that. And they probably don't even bother to really change much or update the tower defense portion of that game anymore i'm not really sure but shadow of the tomb raider not quite the success i'm sure a lot of us hope that it would be but you can't tell me that the effort with a game like that is the same as something like fortnite that just took you know was, was basing everything that they were doing off of the success of something like PUBG, forza horizon 4 yeah sure for some of you it's just a racing game but what I said about the other game still applies here. The the time, the effort, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into something like that. Far Cry 5, another favorite for me this year. It's not it's not as awesome as Dragon Quest XI, obviously, right? And that's another one, Dragon Quest XI. That game is so amazing. I have 140, 150 hours into it or something. And, and this is a single-player game. Single-player games are dying. Single-player games are in the red. Why we never get games like God of War anymore. Single-player games are so rare these days. But here we are in 2018. Some of the best single-player lineup games that we've seen in a long time all mashed together in one year i don't did i mention monster hunter world right that was another big one you can't tell me that fortnite is even should should even be included in the same conversation as some of these games i just feel like there is more of a responsibility there that has to be taken because in a year that's so stacked like 2018 full of amazing single player experiences some of them even have you know, a, a multiplayer component of some kind or a co-op component, like how, how you can even think to include a game like Fortnite in the nominations is beyond me. I mean, if it's just a popularity thing or, oh, this is how many people are still playing this game or that game thing. I think that's, that's kind of, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Shouldn't CS go and Dota 2 and League of Legends be nominated and mentioned every fucking year? I mean, if a game like Fortnite can get nominated and it didn't come out in the same year, why not? You know, like we have to take those games 
into consideration then you have to be more professional than that Fortnite, Fortnite guys with this lineup in 2018 and 2019 is not looking too bad either i think 2019 especially for the first six seven months or so looks really good pretty damn stacked itself and we don't even know all of the releases yet or you know stuff could possibly get delayed but right now it's looking pretty good. Just in January alone, off the top of my head, you've, you've got Kingdom Hearts 3 and Resident Evil 2 Remake, right? And then in February, I think you have, I mean, we don't know if it's going to be worth a damn or not, but you have Crackdown 3 and Metro and Rage 2. Just something to consider, man. And another thing is, like, you have Smash and Just Cause 4 that are coming out soon, and no one's talking about those games. Those games don't even get a chance to be nominated because... They're coming out later than, you know, some of the awards are given out or the award show. So I'm just, you know, when it's important to me, like I, it does, it does frustrate me a little bit. And I would expect nothing less from a favorite YouTuber that I had, you know, if, if a favorite YouTuber of mine was like, yo, Fortnite game of the year, I wouldn't be like, yo, unsubbed, you know, I'm not going to go that far, but I'd be like, man. Really? And and you played all of this and Fortnite is your game of the year? I would definitely have something to say. Uh, it, this year has just been stacked full of games and it's hard to believe that anyone could choose Fortnite over some of these amazing experiences. That's my rant. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant off at the mouth. I, I do that from time to time. Sometimes I don't know when to shut up. I understand that. I've always been a loud mouth. That's just how it is. I mean, that's just, um, that's just, uh, that's just how it is. So I do appreciate all of the continued support. Even if you guys don't always agree with me, even if we don't always get along and we have our little spit spats here on, you know, YouTube or Twitter, or what have you, that's something else you guys need to be doing is following me, following me on Twitter, following me on Twitch, the links for both of those are down in the description. I will talk to you guys very soon because this discussion about awards and award shows, as far as I'm concerned, is not over. It is not over and we will talk more about that very soon. Thanks again. You guys have been awesome. If you have any questions about this video or a previous video that maybe I just didn't see or couldn't get to, put it down in the comment section. I will try and Get to your comment and reply as quickly as possible, man. You guys take care. Peace.